Hey guys, today I wanted to have a little bit of a conversation about the use of plants and herbs um, in your practice. Um, as you know, one of the um, one of the main reasons I've connected to Cornunus was his um, connection to the wood, the wild, nature. Um, this is a I don't normally share any of my workings, but this is one I think you've got caught glimpses of in the past. It's been ongoing, but I wanted to show you what I did uh, to give my working here a little boost. Um, you'll notice I've got six pots uh, that um, contain amaryllis and paper watts. And what I did is I put these bulbs around my working while they were still bulbs and I charged them just like I did any piece of crystal or uh, tool that you see around the working in and of itself. Um, the intention is that by the time all of the plants reach full bloom that we will have a completion and, an, and the desired outcome for this working. The amaryllis, this is their second bloom and they've already got a third bud on some of the um, the plants. And the paper whites have buds on them now. We recently received some news about um, this working that involves um, many people. And uh, it's involves some uh, legal matters. So after the first round of Bloom's opening, we got... Um, a round of good news. So I think we're on our way. Um, but the use of herbs and plants in your workings and in your spells can be a great, uh, a great thing. These will be, um, as, as well as the, the, the plants giving energy to the working itself, the blooms have been dedicated to him. Um, and will be planted in the yard um, in a garden specifically marked uh, for him in my yard. Another thing, uh, last October we had a freeze. It was one night, but it was a freeze. And in my garden, it's not uncommon for us to find um, cocoons and things like that. Um, and I thought that this particular cocoon had froze and wasn't going to amount to anything. So when I was cutting my bay leaves and drying them, I uh, found this. And so I thought, well, I'll put the cocoon itself on the working, which is a gift. And just in the warmth of that candle, a couple of days later, this cocoon actually opened. I thought I'd seen a butterfly, you know, come into the house. And um, I noticed that it actually hatched from its cocoon and was drying itself on the working itself. I've got this on video and I'm going to put it at the end. So when you see this video at the end, you'll know exactly what this is. The butterfly that I thought was dead and frozen actually rejuvenated and sprung back and um, it just hadn't been hurt enough by the cold for long enough to do damage and opened up on the working and I'm, I'm going to show you that at the end. So incorporate um, your love for nature and your desire to, uh, if you work with deity and you may not, your desire to honor and pay homage to that deity with the use of nature uh, in your working. Not watch it.